The East Mediterranean conflict is blowing up. President Erdogan is ready to go to war with Greece, defying European Union's ultimatum, all for oil. For weeks, the two countries have been carrying out military drills in the disputed waters. Both are calling up their allies, and France is openly backing Greece, ready to deliver Rafale fighter jets to combat Turkey's F-16s. The standoff has pushed Europe into firefighting mode. Neither Turkey nor Greece is ready to back off at the moment. Turkey is saying to Greece, we have you in our sights. The Eastern Mediterranean conflict has escalated to the skies. The Ionian Sea is now a scene of war, with naval frigates, submarines and the sonic boom of fighter jets. In the guise of military drills, Turkey and Greece are confronting each other. But what are they fighting over? Oil and gas reserves in the eastern Mediterranean seas. 1.7 billion barrels of oil, 3.5 trillion cubic meters of gas. It's a pot of gold, but in disputed waters. It was Turkey's president Recep Tayyip Erdogan who started the conflict sent a research vessel accompanied by warships to look for oil. Erdogan is challenging maps that were drawn nearly 100 years ago. Erdogan first roped in Libya, signing a deal to start drilling. That angered Egypt. Greece said it won't allow Turkey to drill. Erdogan says it is Turkey's right to do so. Can those who are standing before us in the Mediterranean and its adjacent areas face up to the sacrifice? Do the Greek people accept what will happen to them because of their greedy and deficient administrators? It is a clash of NATO allies. Both Turkey and Greece are part of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Europe has pressed the panic button. France, Italy and Cyprus have joined the Greek fleet. Europe is backing Greece, asking Erdogan to show restraint. The ministers were very clear and determined to show EU solidarity with uh, its two affected member states, namely Cyprus and Greece, and they were very clear in their call on Turkish authorities to end uh, any unilateral activities which are escalating tensions in the Mediterranean and the ministers and the EU are very clear in preferring dialogue. Turkey has long wanted to join the EU, but this rush to lay siege to the oil wells is backfiring. Instead of membership, Turkey may get sanctions. The Netherlands and Austria, among the richest EU members, are for it. The EU is stressing on dialogue, but is also open to sanction Turkey. That will cut off Ankara's access to European ports, European capacities and European technology. Germany, the mediator in this case, is asking Turkey and Greece to halt naval exercises. Germany has an obligation to both the countries. As the president of the EU Council, it owes its power to Greece. But with three million citizens of Turkish origin, attacking Erdogan may cause unrest at home. Germany's foreign minister Heiko Maas says he is paying attention to every little spark that can lead to a catastrophe. Bureau report, Vion. World is one.